new side project here. I'm going to take these two chunks of 4140 pre-hard. Uh, they're basically identical. And make an assembly sort of like this that will be bolted together and will serve as a right angle plate for the Sherline mill. So this, this is the base. I'm going to put two counterboard holes in here that are I think an inch and a half apart which is the distance between the slots on the machine those will be to bolt it down and then I'm going to fasten these I'm gonna put probably two dowel pins and then probably some 3 8 or quarter inch at the smallest threads in here and then some drilled and counterboard holes in this part to bolt it from the underside. Then once it's all assembled, I am going to machine it as an assembly to make sure that it's all squared up and I will probably put some other drilled and tapped holes throughout here. The purpose of this will be to do some side work on some taller parts so I'll have a surface to indicate um, straight vertical in order to clamp clamp parts to do end features. So I'm not really going to work off of a plan with this one. I'm just going to go for it. Um, it's a fairly simple idea. So it shouldn't really need a very elaborate plan. First thing I'm going to do here is square both of these pieces up. So that's just a pretty simple method. I'm going to cut the top face then flip it, roll it back, and cut the next face, and so on and so forth. Okay, so now I have to square this salt edge. I have the other four sides square. So the way I'm going to square this up in the vise is I'm going to just um, hold this one, two, three block by hand up against, and then I'm going to draw this piece in, and you can actually see it rock to show that it's out of square a little bit. But I'll draw the piece in and clamp the vise. and now it should be square to the vise. So I'll actually run an indicator up and down just to verify it. So you can see with the indicator, even though it's bouncing around a little bit, it's, it's within about two thousandths. So for going off the block and the vise um, for this application, and again, I'm just kind of rough squaring it in anyway, because once it's assembled, it's going to be machined as one. So this this should be good enough to get me in the right direction. Okay, I have the blocks all squared up now. Um, this one, I squared all six sides, and then this one here, I just did the four. Left the ends as is for now. This will be the base, and this will be the stand-up part. So what I'm about to do now is I will start putting some dowel pin holes and tap holes in this piece and then a matching set in the base with drilled and counterboard holes and then also some holes for the slots.
decided to go with um, a flathead screw here so I'm going to countersink now 82 degrees for a quarter 20 flathead mm. Once I get a depth that I'm happy with, like here, um, I'm going to set a stop on the Z so I know how deep to take the countersink. But I'm, I'm shooting for obviously flush or below flush because this surface is going to be sitting on the table. So this is a, a good fit for the countersink. I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to face this top surface now that it's all assembled um, to get this side flat. I already know this is the low point over here so I'm going to set my tool off there and then just skim this entire surface.